I'm your host, Frank. This is another episode of Versus. In this episode, we're covering Flywheel versus Springer. Obviously, these are not the only options in the classes, but they're a good representation of each. For those of you who don't know, a flywheel blaster works by motors powering two little flywheels that physically grab your dart and fling it out of the barrel. This contrasts with the spring blasters because this has an internal plunger system that fires forward, compressing air, and then pushing the dart out with air. These, other than the stampede, are generally manually powered, meaning you have to manually prime it back every time before you fire it. Which is the better option, flywheel or springers? Let's compare them to find out. Starting out with the similarities, both are very commonly used in modern nerf blasters. Second, they fling foam and that's pretty much all the similarities they have. Keep in mind, we are talking about the propulsion mech and not the blasters themselves. These propulsion mechs can be placed into many different blasters, giving you different front attachments, tops options, and different ergonomic options. But those are pretty much the only similarities between these two propulsion mechs. Into more detail, let's go over the pros of the Springer. No batteries are required for operation. You manually prime the slide. This means it's ready all the time. It's cheaper because you don't have to keep buying batteries or recharging them, much less of a hassle because it's always ready to go. Next up, Spring Blasters are generally much quieter because they don't have to rev like a flywheel blaster, especially a modified flywheel blaster. Those are extremely loud. After you have this primed and ready to go, it's effectively silent until you pull the trigger, and firing, it's still much quieter than a flywheel blaster. Third, there's no rev up time. After you prime the blaster, if you want to walk around a corner, you don't have to have that small delay, and you don't have to give away a position by revving while you walk around the corner, meaning you're always ready to fire. Oh, zombie, you can fire immediately. It's much faster to fire your first shot. Those are the main pros for the Springer propulsion mech. Now going over the main pros of the flywheel propulsion mechanism. First, much faster rate of fire. Because once you rev up, your flywheels are just going, you can manually inject darts at very high rates meaning you can go pop, 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 pop without having to manually prime anything in between. Next pro, no priming is required. You don't have to put in your own energy because the batteries are your energy source here. Physics mandates you have to input energy in order to move matter. This is just a case where you don't have to do it manually. You buy batteries or you charge them up, you hit the rev trigger, and you don't have to do anything other than pressing your rev trigger, which the laziest of the lazy will say that is still not that much work. <laughs> And the third, one-handed operation. Sure, there are one-handed operational blasters in the spring class, but primary class, because all you have to do is hit the rev trigger, you can do that with one hand. You can dual wield strifes much easier than you can dual wield long shots, for example. Sure, the hammer shot fires with the back action there, but that's not a powerful blaster. Speaking of the primaries, you can't one-handed operate um, many spring blasters in the primary class. So it's going on the pro list. If you disagree, make your own freaking YouTube videos. This is my channel. Deal with it. So those are the main pros, so which is better, the Spring Blaster or the Flywheel Blaster? If you've watched my videos before, of course, Flywheel Blaster wins. Flywheel Master Race. Springers, garbage, man. Go buy a flywheel gun. Why? Super fast rate of fire without the hassle of having to pump something or prime something. All you do is hold down the rev trigger and go. If noise is a serious, serious issue, like you have to be super silent or you need to get some type of tag before they know you're there, fine. Use a Spring Blaster flywheel in their modified form. It's not suitable for that role. In which case, use an Elite Alpha Trooper or Pump Action Retaliator, whatever. But for every other type of game, and especially the game types I play, flywheels rule, man. That insane rate of fire compensates for any type of quiet factor that you can factor into a spring blaster. When you go and finger bang, and you go super fast, you can shoot mad foam streams. So that's the verses of the Springer versus the flywheel. Flywheel wins, of course. Keep in mind, this is just my opinion and my perception of nerf. Everybody approaches this hobby very differently. Some people would be better off with a spring blaster. I get that, but it's not their YouTube channel, it's mine. Flywheel Master Race. That's this episode of Versus. If you'd like to see two topics or blasters compared, leave a comment in the section below. I'm Frank, thanks for watching, and stay tactical. I mean, come on, you can't get close to this with Springers. Flywheel Master Race.